often hear that the British colonial Sanskrit philologists were the first ones to mass translate our scriptures into English. In your learned opinion, do you think the translations were accurate? There is a certain class of Sanskrit texts I'm interested in, as I've just explained. Itihas and the Purana. What is often described as the Pancham Veda, because they popularize what is there in the Vedas. Vedas and Vedanta are things that probably interest only a very small percentage of population. The bulk of the population consists of people who are not sannyasis, they are Grihas. What they do, what they are supposed to do is on the basis of Itihas Purana. One of the problems with Western translation has been that by and large, Itihas Purana has not been translated. By and large, there have been exceptions. There's been Parjitar, there has been Horace Wilson, but by and large, they have not been translated. They have been dismissed as myth. If you look at the sacred books of the East series, written by Max Muller, it translated literature, Kalidasa, it translated Vedas, it translated Upanishad. So your question was about the quality of the translation. I am making a point that that is a secondary question. The problem is that those were not even translated in general. People ignored them, dismissed them. They are myths. There is another series which most people are not aware of or have forgotten called not Sacred Books of the East, Sacred Books of the Hindus, published towards the beginning of the 20th century by Panini Press in Allahabad. That at least started to translate a few of the Purana. Now, so far as the quality of the translation is concerned, two points I want to make. Firstly, it's not simply a question of someone being Westerner in the sense of citizenship. I can think of many Indians who are Indians in terms of their citizenship, but in everything else, they are much more westernized than perhaps many westerners. The issue is that all of these texts are issues, are texts about dharma. So unless you appreciate the nuances of dharma, unless you treat these texts with respect, then I don't think you will be able to accurately translate them. And this I'm saying not purely from the point of view of Westerner as defined in terms of citizenship. But to my mind, that criticism is somewhat negative. Because it's all right, so and so got it wrong, so and so translated it wrong, that is a negative criticism unless we collectively begin to do our own translation. Because that is the constructive part. So yes, I have problems with some of those translations when they have been done. And translations need to keep happening all the time. It is by no means the case that my translations are perfect. Someone else should come and translate them again and improve them. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work. Please visit CITTI.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.